Yeah, here's my uh, love and hate for air travel. Well, it's a great way to get from one place to another very quickly. It's also the problem that it's a very polluting way of traveling. And yes, now during the COVID-19 outbreak, we are not traveling at all at the moment, but I will travel and I want to visit new places, but getting rid of air travel is not always yeah, possible. So as a solution, what airlines came up with is those carbon offset schemes. But what is that exactly? So the airline industry is responsible for 2.5% of the pollution in the world. And what they have offered to some of the customers is that you, when you fly, you can pay a certain carbon offset, which will compensate the pollution that you put out in the world. But is this the most ethical way of traveling? I don't know. And basically the idea is when you travel, the plane puts some certain oxygen and carbon dioxide and water particles into the atmosphere and those are even more harmful than the ones well pulled out by cars or by factories because it's even closer to the atmosphere so the idea is when you do one of those schemes it's not that you get rid of those pollution but instead you will put it somewhere else inside to offset your carbon pollution and if you go for one of those schemes there are basically two options one of them is forestry which basically means that you will plant trees somewhere else because trees take out carbon dioxide from the air and then put oxygen back in to make it more greener basically and we we need oxygen and trees need carbon dioxide the other way is more the energy way to build sustainable energy sources somewhere else to create sustainable energy rather than energy that's created to pollute the planet and this most of the time has also a social benefit for the community that's living there. So for those carbon offset schemes to be successful, they basically need to meet three criteria. And one of them is that it has to be additional. This project shouldn't exist without your money going into the scheme. And then secondly, there has to be no leakage. So it shouldn't be the case to produce your project that somewhere else there will be some carbon produced. And thirdly, it has to be permanent. And this is especially difficult with forestry because how can you prove that the trees you're building now will not be cut later on? So yeah, how is your carbon offset calculated? And yeah, there are different calculators out there and they all use a different way of calculating. Some only look at the distance that you travel. Some other would take the type of plane into consideration. Some other would add on top of that if you're traveling first class, second class, economy, business class, because you can imagine if you're a first class passenger, you take way more space in the airplane than an economy traveler. So an economy traveler would pay less. And then it also depends if you're having a direct flight or an indirect flight. And then also if you have the best calculators, those will also take into consideration the wind and the weather during that day. So yeah, how expensive are those carbon offsets? Well, that depends of course on your flight. If you have an indirect flight, then it's way more expensive because the most polluting way during your trip is the takeoff and the landing. So having a direct flight would be the most sustainable way to travel. So yeah, let's say you will take a flight from London to Dubai. If you want to carbon offset this flight, you will pay in first class 145 pounds, in business class 95 pounds, and then in economy, you will pay 50 pounds. And if you would have a flight from London to Vienna, you will pay Pounds. And then the main question is, does carbon offset really work? And I honestly think this really depends on the airline and the scheme they're using. For example, and this wouldn't surprise you, if you would take Ryanair, they mention on their website there's no accreditation and they literally say that the funds will be distributed annually to environmental charities and NGOs as selected by our people. What the hell does this even mean? Last year, a project got cancelled where they wanted to plant a forest in Ireland. So yeah, if your, fund, if your money is going there, then it definitely doesn't work. Luckily, there are some airlines out there that use accredited schemes, such as KLM and Brussels Airlines and some American Airlines as well. And apparently, in terms of certification, the European certification is way stricter than the US certification. But unfortunately, not every airline has such 
carbon offset schemes such as Emirates Airlines. So what will you do then when there is no scheme in place but you still want to compensate for your pollution? Well, there are other schemes out there that you could join just based on your flight and you could pay the contribution that you want. So you could do a calculation somewhere else and then pay those schemes yourself. Make sure that those schemes are certified as well. Those are normally a little bit more expensive, but apparently they are better as well and more efficient. And if you want to use such a scheme, it's better to choose for the energy sector rather than forestry projects because energy has a immediate impact while forestry takes a longer term to decide if that project is beneficial. And you can't prove that trees will not be cut during that time period. And with energy, solar and wind are the best ones because with biomass there are some ways that organizations could be a little bit dodgy with this as well and if you are a little bit skeptical about those schemes the only way to solve this is just to fly direct take less flights travel more local travel slow uh, because that's the most sustainable way anyway and if you have ever used one of those schemes please let me know in the comments below what your experience was by carbon offsetting your flight.